I'm an artist who loves to make beautiful chocolate decorations. This is the Knobel family. This is Francis. Join us as we explore the creative and delicious side of working with chocolate. This is Rockin' Chocolate. Today, we're going to be making some confections, chocolate bars, and we're going to make some Indians on some transfer sheets. For those of you that don't know what a transfer sheet is, we did talk a little bit about those on our previous episodes. A chocolate transfer sheet is an acetate sheet with the design printed with edible ink. All you do is pour melted chocolate right onto the sheet. Let's set for a few minutes and peel off the sheet, and the design is printed right onto your chocolate. And so we have some really pretty uh, holly leaves and some snowflakes. Um, you also want, for the bars, you need some uh, bar mold. Mm -hmm. um, and these you can pick up online? Yeah, you can find them online. For, to make uh, chocolate bars. Ginger, uh, a little nut assortment, uh, almonds and some uh, macadamia nuts. Uh, some dried uh, cranberries. So really you could use anything, right Kurt, for yes. this? So first, like. the pastry bag, Mondo size, pastry bag, um, and a baking sheet. And you don't have to use a transfer sheet for this. Of course, you could just do it on a sill pad, right? Or, right? or an acetate sheet, or even wax paper. Um, but of course, a transfer sheet makes everything a little bit more exciting and more festive. And so, Kurt, um, go for it. I get to put the fruit on? Okay. And of course, you could do these any size. And they don't have to be, they could be even be kind of little squiggles or really anything, right, for a transfer sheet. I guess, I guess as many as you could get on the sheet is good, too. Go ahead. Okay, okay, so I'll put the fruit on. So what do we have here? I'll just drop some cranberries on here. This dried mango. I love dried fruit. Uh, these are, cranberries are like uh, cherries. Really anything would work. We'll put this part to music. Yeah. Speed it up. Transfer sheet, you want to make sure that you're using the textured side up. I don't think we mentioned that. Refrigerator for about 10 minutes, right, Kurt? Yes. And uh, we'll get started on our bars. So, and we have our molds here. And you can find these molds online, as mentioned. And we're going to be doing this here, with. Uh, <laughs> I need more chocolate. <laughs> I always do that when I, you know, I get a really good thing going and then cuts me off right in the middle. Kurt, you're making a big mess. The easiest way to do it, um, but you wouldn't necessarily have to. You could even just pour it right in from a yeah, bowl. Or... exactly. It's a little cleaner. Kurt, you're making a big mess. And these would make really nice gifts for people, chocolate bars. That just releases any air bubbles. Exactly. Right. These are pecans? Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, pecans. Okay. Perfect. Right, so in the refrigerator and probably out with the others, right, Kurt? The, the others, do you think they're? Yeah. They, they're so these have been in the refrigerator, and Kurt, these look great. Yes, they do, you did a good job. Yeah, well, team effort. Flip it over. Yeah. I'm like, how pretty is this one? Can we sheet off? Uh, release on their own. Uh, if the chocolate is tempered, right? Yeah. If you don't temper your chocolate, you're in for a real disappointment. Exactly. <laughs> Ready to break and eat. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Really good. Yeah. 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 For more information on chocolate decorating, be sure to check out my instructional DVDs available on my website at thechocolateaddict.com. For chocolate transfer sheets and decorating supplies, visit chocolatransfersheets.com. I'm Catrice, and this is Rockin' Chocolate.